نحمد و نسلی و نسلم علی رسول الکریم اما بعد واشنگ فیٹ از این اوبلیگیشن افرد فر ودو از پر قرآنک آیا سو ون کن اونلی بی افزالد فرم دوئنگ سو اف دی هاف نوٹ گوٹ اینی ووٹر اور ایکسس ٹو ووٹر ویدین ای مائلز ریڈیس اور اف دی ہیو اینی کنڈیشن that would preclude them from using the water for medical reasons or the third situation where they have already had a leather socks worn after wudu and now they just want to wipe over it there's no other situation where one can do it with especially with regards to washing their feet and finding it a bit embarrassing in public it is discourteous or not easily done so there are many ways that we can go around this number one when one knows that they will be in that situation they must come prepared with either wearing leather socks so that they do not need to be in that situation Second, they can perform their wudu leaving the washing of the feet for the last obviously and coming out of the public toilet or where they can perhaps be on their own. So going to the lavatory for example, locking it and having a bottle full of water with some tissues with them and wash their feet on the toilet seat or just keeping their feet hanging there obviously then they can wash it and then wipe the sides so as to not cause any inconvenience for the people to come and use the toilet afterwards there's no way one can sprinkle water on their shoes they cannot do that it is completely alien to islamic teaching one has to find ways to wash their feet now if they could not for embarrassment or whatever reasons then they perform whatever they do and then repeat that prayer or do it afterwards when they come home and obviously they should repent sincerely because that's a, a sin they have committed by not performing on time or by performing without full wudu and they must learn to not do that again inshallah ta'ala